Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Sending me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you in the Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace, Case Case Path. So, that little weird thing happened when I was recording this video a few seconds in. It just suddenly stopped recording, so I'm gonna make sure uh, that doesn't happen again. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Alright. To this day, I don't know if he makes jokes like these because he's mean spirited or if he's really terrible at lightening up the mood. Waves of students pass their tests along to the person sitting in front of them until stacks make their way to the buck. Shima Sensei promptly files them inside his file. Promptly files them inside his file and makes sure all the students are accounted for. Very well. That is it for today. You are all excused. Make sure to come ready for tomorrow. Come ready for more tomorrow. Once he says his piece, the buck wastes no time before leaving the classroom. There are a lot of unhappy faces in the classroom as well. A few students immediately get up and make to leave while others hang around to talk and compare answers. Typical post-test stuff, nothing out of the usual. How did you do, Yuichi-san? It wasn't too bad, although I'm not very good at social sciences, so my grades might be a little lower than I expected. I swear, if you said that only to get some really high grades, I'm going to scream. Don't be like that, you'll do fine. I wish I could have some of that much faith in myself. Anyway, I should probably get going. I'm going to try to hit the library and study a little bit. At the library? Well, why not at home? I have a feeling that if I head home, I'll be too distracted by the piano to concentrate. Well, it's not ideal, but so long as you're focusing on something productive. Or by video games. Yeah, you should probably head to the library. <laughs> see you tomorrow, you witchy son. Yeah, see ya. See ya. And take it easy. It won't do you any good if you brick your brain. Brick your brain. Brain a brick, brick a brain? Okay. I'll do my best. I worry for that guy. Maybe I should get going, too. Not like I have anything else to do in school. Hmm. I think I'll at least try to see KSK before I leave. I wonder if KSK hasn't left me already. I tried sending him a message, but uh, but just not to run the risk of him heading home before reading, I decided to try and look for him. A few of the juniors look at me weird after I simply popped into their class without a word, but most of them are too busy talking to pay me any attention. I'll be discussing today's test just like my classmates are. No sign of Keisuke. Maybe he's really left already. Although, I still have one place left that I could check. Club activities are supposed to be postponed for the week, but I really doubt the band members care that much about it in the first place. I might have known them for long, but they didn't seem... Might not have known them for long, but they didn't seem like a very orderly bunch. I make my way down the stairs and towards the other building where the Mew Light Music's club room is located. Thanks to the lack of clubs for the week, students are leaving the school en masse as soon as the classes are run out. The few that stick around are heading to the library or staying in their homerooms to study. The library must be pretty pot, pretty packed right now. Hopefully June won't have a panic attack in there. Once I reach my destination, I knock on the door and await for some kind of signal. The door opens, a jet black raven appearing on the other side of it. As soon as he sees me, he smiles warmly. Ah, uh, it's only you. I was afraid a faculty member had shown up. A faculty member? Yes, we're not really supposed to be getting together to rehearse or even get together at all, so we're trying to keep a low profile. Profile what discussing what and discussing what to do. Is Case <clears throat> is uh is Cake is Case Gay around? I, I was looking for him. I still have a hard time calling him by his regular name. The habit is much harder to break than I thought it'd be. Oh yes, he's here. Come on in. We were we were taking a break anyway. As soon as I walk in, I see the whole band gathered together. Kaken has his back turned to the door. His voice sounds annoyed for some reason. He gestures quite quite often as he speaks. Is he ranting or something? Oh, hey, we have a visitor! As soon as I walk in, the monkey interrupts Keisuke to loudly announce my arrival, causing all the other band members to notice me as well. Iwiji, what are you doing here? I thought I'd check in on you before I headed home. Check in on me? Yeah, you went through all that trouble yesterday to try and help me study, only to have only have to go home right away because I wasn't around. What? That? That was fine. Showing up without being able to get a hold of you in the first place was already a huge, a huge gamble. I suppose that's a fair point. But I do have to say, I'm surprised you're all, so, you're all so relaxed. I thought for sure at least Monkey Boy here would be dejected after the tests. Heh, <laughs> why should I even care about that stuff? I've got more important things to do. Such as? Uh, practicing the guitar, of course. This guy's priorities are really messed up. Well, I can't say I'm relaxed, but there's no point worrying about it now. Right, Choco? The coyote girl nods meekly. At least she didn't hide behind someone as soon as I walked into the room. I suppose that's progress? I'm still surprised someone with a personality like this can be in a band, though. I'm used to helping the band members study. I did the same when Ichigo and I were freshmen and I helped Caruso after he joined, too. Oh, but not Shoko-san? Shoko doesn't really need any help. She's already a bright student on her own. She even helped Miyu study this year. 
In the corner of my eye, I see Shoko twiddling her fingers, her eyes falling down to the ground and her face getting a tinge redder. Yeah, that's true. If it weren't for Shoko, I'd have been done for. Miu, you don't have to say it like that. Of course, since I joined the band, Kagahos got me to tutor Caruso in his place. Ooh, excuse me. Mmm, that's some steak, so... Excuse me. Mm. That way, each person in the band would only have to tutor one student instead of multiples. Yeah, besides, got off load the dead weight. Ichigo laughs, her lighthearted light tone betraying the sharpness of her words. The dead weight? I will admit, you are a terrible student. You don't even listen most of the time. What do you mean? Exactly what I said. See, this is what I meant by you not listening. Isn't that a little harsh? Don't worry, it's all in good fun. If you think this is all it takes to get, me, to get to me, then you don't know me well. He literally doesn't, though. He only met you, what, five times? You know that's not what I meant. Do I? Maybe we should go back to discussing our plans? The meek, surprisingly low-pitched female voice cuts through the lively chatter, suddenly redirecting everyone back to the previous conversation. Right, that's true. Sorry for getting distracted. Um, I should probably go. I feel like I'm just intruding. Nah, it's fine. We'll just think of it as having our first fan around. Y you will? I don't think bands are in the habit of bringing their fans around to rehearsals and meetings, even if they're, the fir they're their firsts. What? So you, wanna, so you want him to leave? Well, sorry, Ubichikun. You heard the man. Off you go. She cracks a huge Cheshire cat grin, suppressing a giggle as she speaks, her voice nearly breaking a few times from the effort of it. However, she does manage to pull off of a convincing performance, and the hare's eyes immediately go wide with horror at her words. Wait, no, that's not what I meant. That's just cruel, Mizuki. I lean a little closer to her, whispering in her ear while she laughs. Keisuke, can you continue what you were saying before our guest arrived? Oh, right, yeah, that. Keisuke clears his throat, reaching down with his hands to straighten out his shirt a little before speaking. It's a habit he has sometimes that I think he doesn't even notice. As I was saying, we need to find a different place to meet up and, re and rehearsal during this week. Faculty really doesn't want clubs meeting up during this week. Theoretically, we shouldn't even still have the key to our room. How did you even get it in the first place? Oh! The raccoon raises her hand, cheerfully interjecting. I told a teacher that Shoko-chan left her personal keyboard in the room and needed, my, and needed my help to pick it up and take it back home. And that worked? She shrugs, chuckling under her breath. Sure, why wouldn't it? The teachers in this school are stupid trusting. Way more than the ones in my previous school. And it's a good thing Shuichi isn't here, otherwise he'd be sputtering in shock at this point. Right, but that is, a, but is obviously not going to work again, so we need to find a place where we could rehearse. And since we can't just transport some of the instruments there, it'd need to be a place that already has stuff like keyboards and drums. That's why I was thinking of suggesting Kiyoshi-san Kiyoshi Kiyoshi shop. I'm surprised. I thought you wouldn't talk to him after what happened last time, at least for a while. I'm not a child. I'm capable of taking criticism without crumbling, although I didn't care for the way he worded it. Okay, I just remembered. You had said that right before Yuichikun came over, but I didn't, ma but I didn't manage to ask before. Who is this Kiyoshi? Right, I gotta remember not everyone knows people by names. He's the owner of the large music store nearby the train station downtown. You know, the one right in front of the Department of Transit. Wait, you mean Astro Records and Instruments? That wouldn't work. Place rarely ever has openings, especially with this little notice. Yeah, I'm afraid I have to agree with Caruso. That store is great, but it's also huge and one of the most popular in town. I had to book a room with two weeks notice when I was still in middle school. One second, y'all. Water time! Oh lord, I need me some water today. I stay hydrated after my night of drunk- after my night of being drunk. Hey. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, I know that place. It's where I bought my electronic drum set. The owner is kind of weird, but he's also nice. Heh, <laughs> fret not. I know the owner personally, and I'm sure I could get him to squeeze us in this week. Wait, you do? Yeah, he's a friend of my father. He was the one who taught me to play guitar, too. Hmm. This just makes me more and more curious to see how good you are with the guitar. A hard pass. Anyway, my point is that getting a room there is going to be a cinch. You say that, but when I went with you to the store for you to buy a mic, you had to test it at the store floor because he didn't have any room. That... that was a fluke. He wasn't going to reschedule a previous customer, so I could test out a product for five minutes. That's not reasonable. No offense, but him rescheduling a customer that's been waiting for weeks just because you have personal connections with him isn't really reasonable either. Is this what nepotism looks like? So long as you're confident that 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 
Telling you're confident that can work, then I have no objections. The place is top-notch. The installations easily leave our club room eating the dust. We'll just have to pull the money together to cover for a week of room rental. There's no need. I can cover it just fine. Dude, we know you're, like, uh, uber-rich but uh, or something, but we don't want you to pay, for, pay our way into things. We're all a band together, so we'll share the burden equally. I didn't mean... You say that, but you're always broke and always need to ask for more time to pay your share. Well, that's not relevant here. Message us when you get an okay for the room so we can figure out how much we'll owe. We all owe. If all goes well, we can start getting together for rehearsal tomorrow. All right. So unless there's another, any other business we need to discuss, then this should be all for today, huh? Yeah, probably. For the, probably for the best. I still need to help Ichigo study a little more before I'm comfortable letting her take the rest of her tests. Do we really have to? The calico pouts, rolling her eyes at the raven. I'm afraid we do. All right, fine, but you're gonna owe me for this. Buy me a scone or something on the way home. I get the feeling this conversation of who owes whom, of what, what whom's who's what, is a little backwards here. Hey, Shoko, should we hit up that new bakery that opened by the old market? I heard their chocolate croissants are really good. That sounds good. The conversation topic immediately shifts away from the band and back to a much more mundane chatter. I'm gonna head to Kiyoshi-san's shop right now. Would you like to come with me, Yuichi? Yeah, sure. Why not? Wait, does this mean I'm the only one who's gonna be left alone? Sounds like it. That's not fair! Can I go with you girls to the bakery? Hmm, I don't know. The raccoon smiles, obviously teasing her bandmate, making a long, over-exaggerated humming sound as if she were thinking about it. No way! The monkey sulks, his shoulders drooping, crestfallen. Mio-chan, that's a little mean. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to have a little fun. Sure, you can come with. All right! Sometime later. Man, it's good to stretch my legs and finally get out of that cramped school. I stretch my arms and shoulder, making sure that everything is still in its right place. There's something about the stress of exams that makes all your limbs feel like heavy like lead. I know it's the same thing every year, but I'm still not used to midterms. Maybe if you studied once in a while, you'd have an easier time with them. Come on, even you've got to know that's not realistic. Is that so? I thought you were trying to be a little bit more like me. Ugh, not this. Can we pretend Aki never said that, please? Aw, oh, why? I thought it was kind of cute. Cute? Yeah, you're just cute in general. And what? This entire conversation does not compute. It's not so bad. You're acting like it's this huge thing that's prob when it's really not. I'm using for you to be saying that when I was the one having to say it last night. Well, I've had time to process it. When you think about it, it's not really that strange. People change because of their relationships to other people. It's only natural. Like me, for instance. I've also taken inspiration from you for a great many things. Really? That's news to me. Like what? Well, I've been trying to be a little more relaxed. Oh, I'm sorry. Wrong voice. Well, I've been trying to be a little more relaxed and casual. I don't want people avoiding me because I'm too strict or uptight. That's actually a pretty good point. And I've also been trying to be a little more open with others as well. Trust me, the last thing I want is to give my friends the impression that I'm keeping them at a distance. That's surprisingly insightful of you? Surprisingly, have you even met me at all? All I do is obsess about the image I project to other people. Of course it goes without saying that any pretensions of being taken seriously by you lot have long since been abandoned. Oh, yeah, that ship has sailed a long time ago. Not only has it sailed, it's sunk under the tempestuous raging waves in a spiraling vortex, leaving hundreds dead in its wake. What? I got really dark really fast. Oh, sorry. What was, what was I trying to say again? Ah, oh, got it. What I mean is, it's okay to take a little bit of inspiration from other people. It's how you grow, really. You shouldn't be embarrassed. I don't know, it feels a little bit embarrassing when the person in question is my... B uh, boyfriend. Still can't say that with a straight face, huh? Give me a break! You've had a lot longer to get used to it than I have. Every time I feel like I might be making a breakthrough, I get a new pang of worry, self-doubt, paranoia, and a little bit extra to worry for spice. Oh, Lord. My brain is one giant pile of stress and anxiety at this point. That... that's not good. That's not good at all, actually. Uh-oh, I didn't mean to take him, make him freak out in my stead. I'm sure things will get better soon, it just hasn't really hit me yet. A lot of things have happened all at once lately, and my brain fell only had one major epiphany at a time. If you say so. Great, now I've passed my paranoia along to him like some kind of emotional flu or something. I really have to learn to keep my, when to keep my mouth shut. Oh, we're here. The place is a lot more packed than the last time we came along. Maybe because of the time of day? I'm not quite sure. 
maybe Mondays just suck so much, so just suck so much people need a little bit extra music to get through it. I guess it's as good as any. There he is. Keisuke points behind a row of discs where the lizard Kiyoshi is chatting cheerfully with what seems to be a pair of customers. Is he trying to make sale, make a sale, maybe? I just, I just know there's a lot of pointing towards a few different pianos he has lined up on that corner of the store. You know, I still don't understand, I, I still don't understand why a guy who owns such a successful business still works on a shop floor like a common salesman. Ugh, sorry y'all, I'm just a little tired. Kiyoshi-san just likes dealing with people. I've seen him defuse annoyed customers a few times. He definitely has a talent for customer service. And the fact that it allows him to work surrounded by dozens of instruments and records and whatnot probably doesn't hurt either. I guess? I just thought since he manages a chain of stores, he'd spend a lot more time working on papers and files and whatnot to manage all of them at once. Kiyoshi-san, working with files and other important documents. Now there's a real nightmarish idea. Huh? Is he that bad? In the corner of my eye, I see the lizard shaking his, shaking his, shaking hands with a couple, a big flashy smile on his face. He notices us by the door and waves at us, making his way in our direction. Look at what I got here. My two favorite people. K-Chan boy and not Alex. Huh? Not Alex? Sorry, kid. I kind of forgot your name. No biggie, though, right? I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Oh, yep, there's the alarm. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell. Leave a super thanks for it if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!